All right, I hope you had fun with parameterized R Markdown. The next step in interactivity will be HTML widgets. And these are JavaScript libraries written for R. They're really nice because you can actually embed HTML widgets within our Markdown documents as well as Shiny applications. Today we'll look at three. There are a number of others that you can also look and play around with, um, but we will look at Plotly, Leaflet, and Data Table. And I'm actually going to jump over to the HTML widgets website to walk through these as a start. Awesome. So here we are on the HTML widgets website. You'll see there's a list of, of all of them here on the left. And we will start with Leaflet, which is one of the HTML widgets that we'll be working with today. Leaflet allows you to create a dynamic map so you can you can pan around, you can zoom and interact with this, um, you know, better than just a static plot. You can also add pop-ups. There are not pop-ups here, but you can add pop-ups as well. What I suggest if you want to use Leaflet or any of these other HTML widgets is to actually just come and copy the code, right? So all you'll have to do if you copy this code over into your IDE is manipulate the variables as well as the data set, and you'll be able to output something very similar. This is really nice as you're getting started, right? You can get an idea for the, the way the code works and then eventually get to a point where you can just write this yourself. The next widget we'll be working with is Plotly. And Plotly is a way to make interactive graphs and plots. So you'll see here, this is interactive and we've got pop-ups coming on, on all of these. You can also zoom in, zoom out, and do a couple of other things. Same thing with Plotly. Grab the code, copy it over into your IDE, and then you'll be able to manipulate certain variables to, um, to output something relevant to your data set. Last piece here is DT, which is a package that allows you to output interactive data tables. You'll see here I can search. Um, I'm not sure what's relevant to search here. Let's try 10. No, that doesn't work. Uh, five. None of this works. But if this was a data set I knew more about, then I could, you know, I could search for something and parse down to that actual value. And again, just like I said before, copy this over into your IDE and ma manipulate some of the variables. As you get more, you know, into more detailed use of these HTML widgets. Each of these widgets also has their own site. So Leaflet, for example, um, say you wanted to have some sort of, of pop-up on this graph, you could go to the Leaflet site, which I will do here, and it'll show you exactly how to do that with the code as well. So same exact practice there. As you're getting familiar with it, copy it over, manipulate it, and get, you know, get a better feel for how the code works. So let me jump back over. I'm working with a number of different screens here, which is why I can't just uh, drag you over. Wonderful. So for exercise number two, you will do four different things again. First is install Plotly, Leaflet, and DT in the same way you would install any normal package. Install.packages, Plotly, install.packages, Leaflet, and so on. First, you'll use Plotly to create a bar chart of UFO shape. So you used shape in, in the parameterized R markdown before. This time, choose three. There are a lot of different shapes within the data set. So take a look, filter down to three, and then output an interactive chart. Second, you'll use Leaflet to make an interactive um, map of encounter length. And then you'll use DT to create an interactive data table. Again, feel free to copy over the code. That's what you'll see I've done in the solution script, which again is on my GitHub. It's titled HTML underscore widgets. So take a stab at it. And if you need to look, go ahead and, and go to that script as well. 